Um, my name is Hera. My name is Sad. And we're from the band Toir. We are a Faroese uh, metal band. We were founded in uh, 1998. Uh, we re released seven studio albums so far. Our uh, latest album was Bacteria, released in uh, 2013 by Metal Blade. And we play what they like to call uh, Viking pagan folk metal. Chiro is uh, Nordic God, no? Yes, yes, he is. Um, so, so Tyr is the same god that laid name to Tuesday uh, and uh, he's uh, one of the sons of Odin and he was the bravest of the gods, he changed the, the wolf fender and uh, that was probably the reason I um, liked uh, that band, uh, that, that name. Uh, also inspired by the, the, the Black Sabbath uh, album by the same name. Why, why Tyr and why uh, choose Nordic mythology for uh, all your years? Um, I, I've been uh, fascinated by Nordic mythology since I was 11 years old. And um, I've read a lot about it and, and uh, st studied something about it. And uh, once I, I had the opportunity to make a band completely to my own uh, uh, wishes, um, I decided to, to uh, use Nordic mythology as, as the basis for the metal band, and um, that's where we are now. And in what kind of documents uh, you, you use for writing songs? It's Edda of Snowy? Uh, partly, I, I read some of the Eddas, but, but uh, when I was 11 years old, I learned about Nordic mythology in school from a teacher, uh, and uh, I was completely sold, and, and I still am for the most part. So um, most of my background knowledge came from, from, from what I learned in school uh, in my childhood. And um, as, it, I, as I got more involved in it, I, I did read the Eddas and other more contemporary sources uh, um, like um, modern uh, scholars um, uh, discussing the Eddas and, and other uh, sources. Faroese uh, traditional music, um, some Danish or Norwegian traditional uh, music also, and, um, and you use some saga uh, like uh, Eric the Red. Yeah, Eric the Red uh, is one we use definitely. Um, uh, there are some other sagas involved in in our fairy uh, traditionals. Um, the Lay of Thrym. Well, that's not a saga. It's 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 a mythological story. Um, Ragnarok uh, about um, the end of the world. Uh, in Nordic mythology. Um, uh, what else is there? Uh, Vatshirya, well, it's more, more like a, my own uh, mythological composition, but based on, on, uh, on mythology. So, so yes, I used history and mythology as basis for, for, our, uh, for our lyrics and, and music. There are, there are no um, there are problem uh, uh, in the kind of way with Nordic mythology because uh, all the writing uh, who got on these Nordic mythologies are writing about uh, Catholic people uh, or Christ Christian people and so it's a problem for you? Yeah, that is true. I mean, we, we don't get the really original uh, mythology. It's, it's, it's written down by, by Catholics, as you say. Um, so um, you have to keep in mind when you read it probably that the people who wrote this down, they had to have some affinity for it or else they wouldn't have written it down. But also they have to try to appear as they're not pagan themselves when they write it. Um, it's a balance, uh, and I, but I don't, being a, an atheist myself, I don't believe in Catholicism or paganism literally. So uh, I think I'm pretty safe in, in that problem. Both are mythologies essentially and, and um, so um, I think I can take it at face value. I mean, uh, I can imagine what, what the priests felt. S say you're, you're living in Iceland in the 1200s and uh, you've been Christian for 150 or 200 years and you have to write down the memories of your ancestors. S of course, you have some affinity for it, but also you can't appear to be completely pagan. It's, it's not really that difficult to, to uh, set your mind into it. Uh, yeah. So, so. Um, but sometimes um, 
few stories are very funny and you, you got uh, um, on your ear and uh, so you, you know the story about the wedding of Thor. Yeah, of and course. It is a very funny story. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Uh, and it should be hilarious. It's obviously made to be hilarious. Uh, if, it were, if it was hilarious before the Catholics got hold of it, I don't know. But, but honestly, there's, there's really no way to tell. So you have to take it like you get it. And, and uh, I, I like it the way it's written. And, and uh, I have no problem with that. Um, and do you think people can learn a little bit about uh, Nord mythology with your song? Only very little. I, I usually use the comparison. If you, if you want to learn about Alexander the Great, how much do you learn from Iron Maiden's song? Uh, Alexander the Great. I mean, uh, metal lyrics are very short compared to history books. You can't really get that much information in there. So, and I like to put my own um, political and, and um, ethical opinion into the lyrics. So, you, you, what you get mostly is my political opinion. If you really want to learn about history, you should pick up a history book and don't uh, rely on our lyrics, is, is what I would suggest. But I think. I think as a kind of inspiration it's very good since uh, for example I myself learned about some some uh, uh, novels and literature uh, 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 makings because of some metal lyrics so I, I, I think that if you are listening to the lyrics of Tear for example it's, it's, it is a very good way to, to get more into uh, the theme or, or the topic it, it of, might be of, of, of more the uh, yeah. mythology I mean you just you just hear about it you, you read the lyrics and then you think okay okay maybe this is something I want to learn more about and then you just just look into it I mean nowadays you just <laughs> you just google it and then, then uh, exactly, you have, exactly. you have uh, unbelievable amount of information I mean back Back in the day, I was, I was, uh, for example, uh, the uh, Iron Maiden, um, Power Slave. I learned about uh, the um, the last song. What's it called? The uh, Rhyme of Rhyme the Inch Mariner, Mariner. Yeah, and yeah. that was uh, that's a uh, what's his name? By, uh, Not H.P. Lovecraft, but. No, 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 no. But um, I'm too drunk to, to remember. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, so maybe that's more of a question for our listeners, like how they they find it. Um, I just put it out like I see it, and, and what what people make of it is not really up to me. Yeah, well, in fact, uh, I think we have the same approach, and uh, what I do in YouTube uh, with my channel uh, is to uh, introduce people. Yeah. And after, yeah. if people are interested, they can feel it. Exactly, uh, exactly. It's very good. Well, that's, that, that's what uh, nowadays music is about. I mean, or metal music, you know, you, you just you just take control of, or, or, or you just, you just uh, write a song about a topic or a theme, and then and, uh, the listeners are maybe. Yeah. And they, in, in the best case, they're just going yeah, after yeah. it topic and they, they, they learn yeah. about it, they, they yeah. inform themselves about it, so uh, I think it's, uh, it's a very good, very good uh, process. And, um, do you think metal music is the, the better music for talk about history and why? Metal music and history, um, well, the, the first real history I got from metal is, is obviously Iron Maiden. There may have been a history before that, um, but why that happened, I don't really know. Maybe Bruce Dickinson is interested in history and that's the only reason, I don't really know. Um, the, the, the next thing that I know happened with the history and have metal is, is maybe Bathory was maybe the first Vike or Pagan Scandinavian band and uh, Quarthon had had an interest in, in uh, Nordic mythology. Um, maybe it comes from individuals like that who sort of put history into it to begin with. But uh, then again, I don't know, maybe we are sort of, even though we are heavy metal people, we are sort of traditional in, a, in another sense that we, we like to know uh, the roots of things and we like to know um, 
we like to have a feeling of, of, of uh, uh, this may be controversial to say it, but like a European essence in what we do. And I, I suspect that's one of the appeals of the things that we do as, as a Nordic uh, metal band with Nordic mythology, that people like the, the um, European essence of it. And that's uh, the, the uh, reason for our success in, in, uh, in Europe and, and uh, US. Um, uh, I, I have no, uh, I have no answer to why it is l like it is, but I just see that's that's what it's like. Yeah, but uh, some people in metal music use history for uh, support uh, um, political ideologies or something like that. That, um, but uh, other people can talk like you uh, about history and uh, it talk about the identity of all people, and it's not a political. Uh, I have I have a political ide ideology. Yes, I do, and and uh, I try to put it into the lyrics, not too directly. I don't like to preach to people. Um, so so um, most I say 75%. I like to present people with mythology or history, and 50% I like to preach, you know, or 25% uh, I like to preach, you know, my own I ideology. Uh, how, how that is received, I have no idea. Maybe most people think what they get from us is mostly history. Uh, you really have to ask the people who listen to it what they think about it. it it's not a trap, like uh, my, my question, but uh, do you think it's la um, uh, like a, a kind of propaganda? <laughs> When you put your own ideological idea into your lyrics, I suppose it's already propaganda, no matter how subtle it is. So yeah, maybe it is propaganda. I want people to think higher of uh, Northern Europe and, and our heritage without, of course, looking down on other people. Uh, having respect and admiration for your own roots doesn't necessarily mean looking down on other people's origin, which is the key uh, factor here. Uh, for more detail, see our song Shadow of the Swastika. Uh, yeah, so, so your, your yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of it's, it, so it's not prescriptive; it's descriptive. It's just writing yeah, about yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. It's just giving you some kind of information, some kind of of, uh, of a glimpse about the information you might have missed when you were at school or at university or everything. It's it's just about the possibility that there might be something you know to to uh, to less about you know and you just just go about it and and inform yourself okay good and um, in your um, music how um, express uh, your universe uh, through the, the clothes the, the, the lyrics um, What you? How, how we express our what? Your um, Nordic mythology and all your universe. Well, I, well, I suppose the the most the the, 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 the best uh, representation from f from the uh, mythology, of course, comes through, through the lyrics. Um, as for as for uh, our appearance and, and uh, language and what whatnot, I mean, we are as distant from from uh, Nordic mythology as. Any Scandinavian people. I mean, I mean, uh, Icelanders, Norwegians. I mean, it's been a thousand years, and uh, how close do you get to it through our uh, appearance or, or speech? Uh, probably not very much. But if it's my impression, people think people tend to think that that we sort of bring a more original um, Europeanness to the scene, and um, whether or not that is the truth. I, I'm not sure. I really, I'm, I, I really don't know. But if people think that, I mean, better for us. <laughs> uh, sometimes you think um, um, people are uh, romantic images of uh, Viking and Nordic mythology. No, 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 no. Uh, if if you could choose to go back in time or or forwards in time, I think any sane person would go forwards in time because. Well, what do we have now? You have medicine. You have science. You you have uh, you know civil rights you have you have you know freedom if you go even 200 years back in time you didn't have that so uh, the present is undoubtedly better than the past and if that holds true for the future 
I mean, the future is undoubtedly better than the present. So, so uh, while you, we may be nostalgic about the past, let's not fool ourselves. It was horrible. It was terrible, probably, to live in those times. And if you could, you would want to live as far into the future as possible for, for a you know, better life and better existence, more freedom and whatnot. So uh, wh while we revere the past, I mean, we have to acknowledge that the future is better, personally.